going back to Harvard in the 1600s when Harvard was established, um, they used a scripture verse, John 17, 3. And that was to lay Jesus Christ at the bottom of all sound knowledge and learning. And today we know Harvard's motto as veritas, which means truth. There was a part of um, that motto that got broken off and it was truth for Christ in his church. So how do we address, to me that gives us a hint as to where our founding fathers started their, um, got their education and started um, the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. So how do we address the early institutions of education? Um, I think what you're saying is that we have become, we've developed an amnesia about the intellectual and moral and even the religious climate in which this country was founded. We project our own radical secularism back into time and take the most anti-religious sayings of a Jefferson and highlight those, not recognizing that for all their disagreements, the founders actually had implicit common ground. Notice when you have implicit common ground, you don't debate it. We could have a whole debate about civil rights without once discussing are blacks and whites intrinsically equal. Why not? Because there's a presumed moral agreement on that subject. So the fact that we don't bring it up doesn't mean we don't believe it. We might be debating affirmative action, but nevertheless, that is a very important common understanding. And there was a common understanding among the founders that our rights come from nature and nature's God. Now, what they, the reason they use the word nature is they believed that God doesn't proclaim these rights by revelation, thunderbolts from heaven. God has embodied this understanding of divine law in conscience and in the observation of the world. We can see, for example, that human nature is a certain way and we can derive moral principles. So you don't actually need revelation to discover nature's God. You simply need a moral awareness of what nature is telling you. And this, by the way, has a tradition that goes back to the Socratics. The idea Socrates spoke of natural right. The idea that you can excavate right from nature. But again, when pressed, even Plato put a divine foundation on that in the Timaeus. So what I take you to be saying is, listen, there is something a little crude historically in taking the fact that we're living today in secular society and pretending like that's the way it always was.